Hey y'all, welcome to Cuppy's Crochet Cove, and today we're just going to jump right on into working on the body of the Hungry Caterpillar. And to start, we're just going to use Red Heart. This is Red Heart Super Saver in the color of Jade, and I'm using an H or 5.0 millimeter hook. You can use the size you want, but I'm going with this. And we're just going to jump right in with a magic circle. Not great at it, but I'm trying. And chain one. If I can. Yay! And seven single crochets into the magic circle. And that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Pulling our hook out, we're going to tighten this to bring it all in to make one little circle. And I'm going to try and make my circle a little tighter. And under round two, we're going to single crochet two into each of these single crochets. And for the tail, um, you can sew yours in later if you want, but I'm just going to sew over mine or crochet over mine because I hate sewing. So on round two, we're going to single crochet two into the first. And I'm going to use this as a stitch marker. And two into the next. There's one. And two. And we're going to go all the way around for a total of 14 single crochets. And back. And I'm finishing up my last two single crochets. One and two and I still have some of the tail left and that's okay on to round three taking out my stitch marker and in the first single crochet we're going to chain uh, single crochet one continuously working in the round and in the next we're going to single crochet two into that and I'm starting to lose my tail, so I'm having to pull it and keep going. And there's two. Counting back, one, two, three. Putting in my stitch marker. And we're going to do that one more time. One into that single crochet and two into the next. And at the end of this round, you should have 21 single crochets. So go ahead and go all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker. Now I'm at the end of round three for 20 and 21. Back to the stitch marker, taking that out. Round four, we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches single crochets one and two placing our stitch marker back into the first and on the next we're going to single crochet two single crochets into one single crochet following that pattern one, one, and two. And we're going to continue that all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker for a total of 28 stitches. Now I'm going to finish 
the last two stitches. And that completes round four. Removing our stitch marker for round five, we're going to single crochet into the next three single crochets. So that's one, two, three. Replacing our stitch marker. Counting back, one, two, three. Put that in there and two single crochets in the next. And we're going to repeat that pattern for row five all the way around. And when you get done, you should have a total of 35 stitches. Finishing my last two. 34 and 35. Now starting on round six. We're going to single crochet into the next four single crochets. One, two, three, four. Putting our stitch marker back. One, two, three, four. single crochet two single crochets into the next stitch one and two and now it's going to start looking a little more like some kind of weird shape whatever shape that is instead of a circle but it's going to circle back out so continue along in that pattern, one, two, three, four single crochets and two together. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 45 stitches. And I will meet you back around to the stitch marker. Coming up to the last two stitches of round six, 41. And 42. Taking our stitch marker out. Now we're going to begin row 7. For row 7, we're going to continue increasing into the first single crochet, single crochet 1, and Two and three and four and five. And placing our stitch marker into the very first one. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to increase even more into the next single crochet you're going to single crochet two one and two and you're going to continue this pattern all the way around five single crochets two single crochets into the next stitch all the way around back to your stitch marker until you have a total of 49 single crochets and I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. Coming up to the last two stitches of round six. 41 and 42. Taking our stitch marker out. Now we're going to begin row seven. For row seven, we're going to continue increasing into the first single crochet, single crochet one and 
two and three and four and five and placing our stitch marker into the very first one one two three four five now we're going to increase even more into the next single crochet you're going to single crochet two one and two and you're going to continue this pattern all the way around five single crochets two single crochets into the next stitch all the way around back to your stitch marker until you have a total of 49 single crochets and I'll meet you back at the stitch marker finishing up uh, my last two stitches from row 8 58 and 56. Now, at the end of row 8 with 56 stitches, not too complicated, and it's going to look somewhat, again, less like a circle and whatever kind of, I don't even know what that is, stop sign, hexagon, I have no idea, whatever it is. Um, anyway, but it's going to turn into a circle. Now it gets easier. So row the next rows 9 through 13, you're simply going to single crochet all the way around. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So for the next five rows, just single crochet all the way around and it's going to start to look like a bowl and I'll meet you back so now we're coming up on well I've already done the um, remainder of row 13 and your project should look something like a shallow bowl and if you can and I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and hit the bell to my channel because yeah I'm just learning and I need all the support I can get <laughs> so moving on taking our stitch marker out I changed because my little bobby, kept, bobby pin kept slipping out and so I just grabbed that I have regular stitch markers but I just I change up I, I use whatever I feel like at the moment so moving on round 14 we're pretty much going to do the same now as what we've done in previous rounds whenever we were increasing but we're going to do it backwards with the decrease so in the next six single crochets you're going to single crochet in each one. I hope that made sense. <laughs> so one, two, and I'm going to put in my version of a stitch marker now because it's, yeah. I don't want to lose that even though I'm I do count I still don't want to lose my spot just in case so one two three four five and six now single crochet two together in the next two stitches one 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet two together in yarn over hold next stitch yarn over yarn over and pull through all three stitches and we're going to continue that until you reach the end of your stitch marker and you should have a total of 49 stitches and again I'll meet you back at the stitch marker
three and then uh, D3 three together. But we're going to be doing this all the way around. We should be crochet and do this all the way around. And then we're starting to close in our little bowl. And I'll meet you back at the I decide to continue with it in here. I mean, I might get bored in the five minutes. I'm going to try to make it really long. 
by pictures and another person like that. Another one. I think I'm going to go. I just want to go on because most of them are not good, but that's and that's what she means in it. I want more. I want to do more of the actual medical and the work. On the last take, I'm so totally sorry. Y'all just saw a bunch of movement and didn't hear anything because I forgot to turn my microphone back on trying to save the battery. What I was saying, um, and I'm going to put the pattern into the comments, but I actually messed up. This was supposed to be the head. And not the body that I was trying to make. But once I got to looking at it. Since I've already made a head. Um, go ahead and make that head. The same exact pattern we just did. Just make it in red. I hope everything was understandable though. Um, what I did on the last was I kept decreasing I'm gonna put the pattern in the comments I'm gonna to have to come back and remake this at some point in time but um, this is the same pattern that you're going to use for the head and what I did with my felt I used um, white felt because that's all I had to make the eyes and I used a yellow marker uh, crayon pencil whatever you call them and I dipped it in hot water to get the yellow and for the green I used dry erase marker to make my face and for the black I don't know if I'm going to use that or not but once you have this made just know that it's the same pattern to make the red yeah there's more to it different pieces but we're gonna get there just be patient with me while I learn how to create videos and create patterns but I've got the uh, pipe cleaners in here I split these through the middle and once I get to a good spot where I can join these together I'm gonna keep going one into one and one in the other and if I have to cut some off that's fine too I just want my pieces to be sturdy 
um, as far as the polyfill, you don't have to stuff them if you want. don't want to. Mine is probably going to be rather large since I have been doing a lot of trial and error. Every one of these I've done on camera. But I'm going to get there. <laughs> but please be patient with me and the next project I do, I'm going to definitely not have it as complicated. <laughs> and hopefully my videos will get better and I'll learn also while you learn with me. So have a great day and God bless you all. And please like and subscribe and feel free to leave me any positive information on how I can do better maybe or anything just be positive because I'm new at this and I need all the help I can get <laughs> thanks have a great day and God bless you all